next dinner is a full course meal. It's complete. Hello. Guys, my mic up. Hello, guys. It's time for GVG. I'm happy because we did our per rice and special heat change. Boom. Plus 30. I have 101 uh, rooms from from my stupid pets, but uh, we got no greater rooms or epic rooms left. So that's what I did over the weekend. So since it's GBG, we're gonna be doing Pearl Horizon, obviously. And I pretty much gonna show you how I built my Pearl Horizon. Pretty much tanky effectiveness. Now when I said that video with uh, the theory crafter, seeing what she what she's like, she's not a damage dealer. Don't 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 get me wrong, she's not a damage dealer at all. She is more of a control mage. So I got her on the control bits and pieces with etiquette scepter to try to reduce down her s2 and s3 and get as much sleep out there as possible even though it's not fully maxed out you know plus one it go to plus 18 so it's probably like a 40 percent chance to increase skill cooldown by one percent which is not bad <laughs> she's on that 17k hp her weapon is not upgraded i don't know about how like i feel like i want more effective than 113 effectiveness because obviously you look i have 50 percent effect res it's really easy to get 50% effect rest, so that means I'll have against other people about 50, about 56 effect, like effectiveness against them or something like that. I'm not doing the math, I'm just off the top of my head. Or 60. So I won't have enough effectiveness versus like something like, like let's say like Royale. I don't expect to actually put her to sleep because, you know, 80% chance with it. And she has like natural, like, I think she has like a natural, like, 25% uh, effectiveness in her skill tree. And people like to build effect res on Rurel, so I don't assume I'll knock her out. I did stuff like uh, type advantage, where there's like 50% chance to miss. And stuff like that, so that's also a good cut I have, so. I don't know, I think I might look for either a speed... A speed weapon with effectiveness and HP, or... I might just keep this. It depends how, how this goes, but her weapon is upgraded. I'm not really worried about her damage, but everything is plus 15. I don't know. I don't know. I had this weapon. I was gonna scrap it because they have any speed. But I was like, you know, what? I can give it a pearl. A lot of effectiveness. Same with my this. I was like, who could use a lot of defense at the fact that I guess she can. <laughs> it works out for the best. This is from. This was from uh, Hell Rage. So if you guys did Hell Rage with the Queen, she gives for the first for the first time she gives HP, immunity, and necklace. Mine just having to roll twenty defense and uh, ten speed. This was on my mop mode originally because my mop mode like the roll rings with attacking it for some reason. So I scrapped that. I scrapped it and gave it to her because she kind of benefited more than mop mode did. And this speed boost is actually atrocious. I could find something different. I would. I think the only thing that's uh, messed up for my pro is uh, her boots are pretty bad. I want more than nine percent HP and more effectiveness. The crit damage is. You don't really worry about it because, you know, because they're sleeping to get 100% crit chance. If you want to go for damage, then go for crit damage. Because you try to put them to sleep and they go get crit anyway if they're put to sleep. And our weapon. So basically, her boost on her weapon is what I need to change. Everything else is fine. But look at the GBG. Can you guys tell it's morning right before work? Look, at, look how bright it is behind my room. It's like 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I usually do that like after I come home from work, so everything is uh, not set on fire. So we get Latin order, level 16. All right, first things first, we're gonna go against this uh, violent little girl with very scary uh, yells and uh, bizarre. We got Pearl, she don't have any buffs besides immunity, so she might get stressed, but she has a 50% 50, 50 you know, effect res. Unless that bizarre has like a billion effect res, I'm gonna say like 150. It's still gonna land 50% of the time, it's still a 50-50. We got Fleur to try to strip her, we got Chiron for insurance, in case everybody dies. But we're not gonna let Pearl Horizon die. She has like 19, I mean 1700 HP. If she dies, then uh, either they hit really hard or something went horribly, horribly wrong. So we're gonna choke this Bassar because 260 speed. He actually was close. Actually, he's dead. <laughs> actually, he's really dead. Well, she has Portrait? 23k HP. That's actually really good because I wanna test Pearl Horizon on. Like a tank buster. A little easier. So we're gonna try to strip him. Usually it just get it like resisted out the wazoo. And then we're gonna just hit him with one of these. Wait, I lied, we missed. 
<laughs> Might need more effectiveness. Disappears. Away with you. We're gonna do this. Hopefully, we get him. We did not. Atticus Scepter. We're gonna scratch her eyes. Get that hit, that miss hit chance. Boom. So we're gonna try to not hit Violet as hard as possible. Ashes to ashes. Unless we sell burn. Guy, even that defense break is doing so much work. Now we're just gonna kill him. Okay, cool. Uh, this can't stun her, so let's just stun her. Let's reduce the cool on our S2 too, by the way. Forever and ever. Okay, we got her 700 damage. Not bad, but less damage is less damage. That's one turn they don't get the axe. And we just put her to sleep. Boom. And since she's asleep, I'll guarantee crit. Ow. <laughs> so it's really bad to bring people that has AoE for Pro Horizon because... You don't want them to wake up unless. Let's say you have somebody that just has like less. Oh, and a conceptor pocket again. Let's say like let's say someone like that has low crit chance, like fifty percent or thirty. You just have another but like three fifty crit damage. You could definitely bring them with the crit like Pearl Horizons. Get a Chiron, just build around it and whatnot. So Singelica is gonna be annoying. She's gonna get the S three, get the speed and attack. Kyra's definitely gonna choke somebody to like. There's nothing we can do against Kyra unless uh, she strips. So here's the thing I'm gonna try to. If we knock her back, then. Let's see. My mission is to get rid of the damage dealers, right? If you get like. This is plus 15, it's not gonna do much. Let's get rid of the damage dealers. Are you ready to die? That's less damage going out, right? Obviously. Uh he cares about your speed. If you die, see, send speeds up. I'll get my revenge one day. So his bombs are useless. Kyra is right after. But my thing is, I'm gonna try to kill, kill him with a uh, ringers. There we go. And then she has a dispel on her S3 because her exclusive equipment. If you guys have Sterella in the low 60, I recommend the one that dispels two buffs because why not? I want to dispel the attack and speed. You guys want the immunity because you might get rid of it anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Leo's dead. He's about to get choked twice. Let's begin. Oh, he's dead. Over here. Nice. No. What's the point of invasion if you can't sure invade? <laughs> What's the point of invade? Oh, Sterella, I should really, should really give you a uh, Molagoras for your S3. Ah, it hurts. <laughs> Could you do this to her? All right, so the top lane, we pretty much keep it the same. Besides, we switched out uh, Chiron for Euphidine because that team, I gotta sneeze, but it won't come out. Ah, I hate this. I'm, gonna, I'm like in a person state of perk to try to sneeze. This is horrible. Oh my God, hold on. All right, and then for the bottom, we got the dark, the light darkness, the moonlight five stars squad coming up. Cause I feel that it might be fun. Play with me. Oh boy, why are we, we okay? We're fast enough, Flurry. That's not a good. She has no crit chance. Well, she has like 20 or 30, but I feel like if Kim punch her, it's gonna be over. So, we're gonna try to You'll put them to sleep. Maybe I'm working too hard. Cool, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna try to get Moonlight Kid out of here. He's gonna get stunned from the S3. We're gonna leave uh, SSB. Well, no, she took a turn, so she's not sleeping anymore. So she's gonna hit us with a defense break. Oh my god, she's fast. <laughs> she's right after my flurry. Oh my god. So we're gonna hit him with the S3. Oh, we can stun her. Do we keep Crowd Sleep? This, using her S3 will. Uh, 
This is an S3 will, you know, obviously reduce her S2 cooldown. So we're gonna put it, we're gonna try to stun her. And we stun her. Try to keep a turn. Hopefully, I spin up somebody up. Flurry. Okay, now we get the fist break. Now we take those fist breaks. And a crit pro rising. S2 to silence. And select it for the best hit chance. Alright, best hit chance. Slap her real quick. Boom. I can't wait for Horizon for control mages. He's gonna run somebody over. Goodbye. Oh no! It's not enough. It's not half. 25, yeah, 25 HP he will definitely kill. I will say we should try to slow down, but this thing is fast with the speed buff, so... I hope this job is a little okay, never mind. You can just throw, throw a bird at him. Boom! Right off his shield. Bink! <laughs> and... We're gonna put him to sleep. Let's increase our combat rate in this, but it doesn't even matter because it's super dead. <laughs> 30k... 30k gold? Because he's super dead. <laughs> Sleep guaranteed crit. Defense break gone. Dizzy priceless. So this Dizzy's fast only take HP. That's not bad. It's around my uh Who's he Who's he again? Uh Moonlight Taiwan. So he Moonlight Taiwan is He probably would have missed this. Moonlight Taiwan is only 200 speed. Yeah, he missed both the two units, but he hit Dizzy. Go figure. So Spence is gonna die. Unless we get a stun on BB King. <laughs> we get the CR push. We can actually get the CR push, right? The thing is, we're gonna accidentally not stun BBK. Then she gonna kill us. Then she gonna kill everybody with S3 because her HP is low. Hmm. 50% with Dust Devil? Or 30? This is the most RD. It's like 50% with 30% of attack on top for a dust double. And this is just a 45% chance. Eh, it's less, but I can I can roll more. Right, let's let's roll. Let's roll the bones. Okay, we, we lost. <laughs> At least we didn't crit the like. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Says he sleeps only guaranteed crit and defense break, so he's super dead. Got ah! Moonlight King with 15k HP. God, make him more tanky. I, just, I wish I, I want to switch him to like a full effect red set and get rid of immunity. And just make him, why not? Also, he's on a 100% crit chance, so that's pretty good. But his crit damage are like 270. Go figure. All right, so we got Timzy, Maya, and Yuna. I don't know if she had gear. I think I switched her on the last second. All right, my Yuna has gear. She has the free attack set because I took it off my secret. My secret has full hit set because it works better for Waver. Actually, it works real good because I'm able to upgrade my gear and I can land bleeds on Waver. So I switched my secret off the attack set to the hit set, which would happen to be. Way better. I get to twenty-seven attack. Uh, need to roll that. Great damage, seventy. And then her weapon, eh, eh. Well, for the most part, she has the same as that attack. So I decided to get a attack to Yuna. So Yuna do have the some gear. She's pretty okay. She's okay speed. And we put Burn Rise against the mostly tanks because I want to see the tank buster damage. Obviously, twenty-three k HP. Sleep slap him with the S three. That's what she's meant to do, right? Pop tanks. Not pop tanks, but, you know, break them open. So let's uh, see how this goes. Of course. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to S3 as Yuna because that's all she can do at the very beginning. Hello. Unless S1. It's me, Yuna. I'll win anyway. So we're going to S3 to everything. see if we, uh, we still create Melissa. Nice. See if we can, like, strip it and uh, put a minus attack. Okay, cool. Oh, Rip Chancy. 
I did recall him, got rid of his bowl of gore, so his S2 is not fully up. Okay, he's super dead. <laughs> but still, super dead. Alright, Yuna might be super dead too. Popper. Wait, did she live? Oh my god, it's the taunt. Uh, we should probably get rid of the Melissa before she gets the taunt. We're gonna try to see our push. That crit resistance is pretty annoying. I'll hope Chazzy do more with yellow violin, but I guess not. Okay. All right, Maya. We gotta try to survive a, a two for one. That crit, res that crit is ruining my. Okay, with that I could probably, I could probably kill her. Crit or not, the S three. If she survives, she's not gonna. Oh my gosh, she cycles through so many turns. Why is she so fast? I hate Dayin. Dayin. Please, save us. Please, Dayin. Oh my god. Don't worry, I can fix it. Please fix it, Yula. You're fired. Yula, you're fired for being a president. Immature. So like usual, we're gonna just put him to sleep like this. On the other side of terror. If we can put him to sleep. Oh. Cool. Harder, flurry. We don't really need sober. I'm gonna do it because that's the only thing I can really do. She did increase damage on the S3, but let's so do some tests. So sober don't really affect the tank buster, so this S3 does not affect uh It does not affect the. Let me see. It does not affect the thirty percent additional damage. So if you increase the damage, it's just the base damage, and she don't have an attack, so there's no reason, no reason, to, no real reason to soul burn. So I'm gonna just do this slapper, try to stun her. Hit her with that crit, that three K, A K. So she probably don't have that much HP. Only one K. She gets some HP. Oh, she blows all the way. She didn't get stunned, but she blows all the way. We're gonna get rid of this woman. I won't go easy on you. Try was a good word. We're gonna try to push it back. And whale. Will you play with me? We're gonna put somebody to sleep. I hope this God, I love this ability. Easier. Who's next? We're trying not to wake her wake her up. Maybe I'm working too hard. And the thing is she doesn't have Shall I make you pretty? S3. We're gonna slow burn because that's what we can do as she's asleep. Come here. I think you'll be my favorite. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh. oh my, how cute. Try to put her to sleep. Might fail. Okay, good. Fight a little harder, Flurry. Try to do as much damage as possible before you know she puts her S3 up. Try to defy me. Oh, she's next. So let's see if we can try to crit. <laughs> and put her to sleep. <laughs> I was just Minus hit. Let's do dual attack. I'm working too hard. I want to keep her locked down. This team is, you know, I like Pro Rising. <laughs> A lockdown team. Imagine this in RTA if this all goes right, right? Now so we're gonna just do this, drop the ball on them, put them back to sleep. But I highly doubt people will actually let you have Pearl Horizon and Tanibra on the same team. Unless they have a lot of factors and confident. Will you play with me? You'll try to knock them asleep. Boom. All the shield I was like, why, why did why did she uh Cute. you know I want to torment you. <laughs> why didn't she Ah she kicked me. I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, no, I have like a billion HP. Did it get reduced by 50% from her, her thing? We're gonna just so burn and so stunning. Forever and ever. Blah, blah, blah. 7k. Well, 1.5 attack. Why did I do so much damage? So burn? How much is so burn? Wait, so Pearl Horizon so burn is 2.2 scaling? So wait, so burn is 2.2 scaling? Wow, if you have a. So I was wondering why I did 7k. All right, so we're gonna try one RTA. I'm in silver, right? We're gonna try one RTA just to see if they let let her through. The biggest thing that we want to get rid of is actually fire units. It's actually Kyra. 
Let's get rid of Chiron. I never picked Pavel. Let's get rid of that DPS. We got rid of Pavel. Alright. So, Flurry has Aureus and Ambitious Tywin has uh, Adamus Shield. Go figure. We're gonna see how this, how well this goes. <laughs> you may try to defy me. No immunity set. Ooh. We're gonna drop the S3 to put him to sleep. Trident. SSB might survive. We don't have any immunity sets because we're in silver. Okay, he has no gear either. Maybe I'm working too hard. We're gonna so burn to get rid of uh, his. I guarantee to get rid of his invasion. Since he's provoked, we're gonna worry about. It. We're gonna just slap her really badly because she's asleep and try to share it with her. Try to stun her. We're gonna put her to sleep. We're gonna just hit her with the S1 to provoke. Now we wait a turn. And we knock him back. I do have stand fed gatekeeper, I lied. That's it, that screenshot. Alright, that worked out way better because he was scared of the Pavel. So yeah, I do like this build of her. I, I think I might switch for more effectiveness and speed. Either, you know, either effectiveness and HP. She has 17k HP. I think she's fine with HP. Speed, defense, and effectiveness are just more attack. That's, yeah, she has 1.7 HP and she, hit, and she crit for like 7, 7k with defense break. So she does some damage if you have some CC. But I think I do like Pearl Rises, you know, PMD, PMP, DMP. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go to work. See you guys around.